Hello, I'm Teacher Robin. Welcome to another live streaming class. If this is your first time to join us, let me explain how the classes work. Today our topic is health-related vocabulary for travel. So this is a really important topic for many of you who want to uh, go on vacation somewhere abroad. You will need uh, this vocabulary in case you get sick or something happens, okay? So pay attention. I hope it's useful for you. And if you have a question during the class, you can participate by writing your question in the comments. So I'll be checking those at the end of the class. If you have any questions or if you just want to say hello, then you can write uh, that in the comments section, okay? So as I said, if you are planning to go on a trip abroad uh, in the near future, then you will need some of this vocabulary. Hopefully none of these things actually happen to you, but they're good to know in case you do get ill, uh, you get sick, you have a problem, uh, too much sun, etc. cetera. Uh, we're going to go through all of these situations and the conversations that you might have with the doctor if you need to go to the hospital or to a clinic uh, to get treatment, okay? So let's start with uh, jellyfish. So imagine you are at the beach and something bites you or you feel pain in your, in your leg or in your foot, okay? So maybe you've been bitten by a jellyfish, okay? So if uh, in this situation we have a conversation between patient and doctor. So you would be the patient. So you would say something like this to the doctor uh, at the hospital, okay? I have a swelling in my leg. So swelling means that your leg is much bigger than it should be, okay? I think I was touched by a jellyfish, okay? So you explain the problem and then the doctor will say something like, let me take a look, okay? Uh, and he'll say, yes, you're right. Apply this cream to the affected area three times a day after washing it well. Okay, this should say doctor actually. So the doctor will take a look at your um, at your leg, for example, and they'll give you a prescription or treatment uh, that they suggest. Okay, so in this case, you need to use a cream. So they'll tell you to go to the pharmacy, etc., to to treat your your jellyfish uh, bite or sting. Okay, so that's one common thing that can happen to you when you're on vacation, especially at the beach area. Something else is sunstroke, okay? So this is when you get too much sun, when you're in the sun for too long. Uh, you can get overheated, you get really hot, you start to not feel well. So uh, for example, you can say to the doctor, this morning I was at the beach and I got a lot of sun. Now I have a headache, okay? Your head hurts and I feel dizzy, okay? So that means you don't feel stable on your feet, okay? So the doctor will say something like, first we need to take your temperature, okay? So a temper having a temperature could be a symptom of, of sunstroke, okay? So if you do in fact have a temperature, then the doctor might say yes. It's sunstroke. Avoid, okay, so that means don't do. Avoid going to the beach. Drink lots of liquids, okay, and apply fresh compresses. So this is like if you take a towel and you, and you wet it with water and then you put it on your head, this is a compress, okay? Take paracetamol to lower the fever and come back tomorrow, I want to see you again, okay? So this could happen that if you go to the hospital, you go to the doctor abroad, they might ask you to come back the next day, okay? So keep in mind that this is possible, all right? Um, along the lines, uh, the same lines, something that might happen to you when you're at the beach, you might get a burn, a sunburn, okay? So for example, good morning, I have a bad sunburn, what can I do, okay? So the doctor will tell you, apply this cream and avoid sunbathing, okay? So don't go back to the beach, uh, stay inside, for example, oh sorry, okay? So uh, they'll probably tell you to go to the pharmacy and tell you what kind of cream you need to buy. All right, dehydration. This is when we don't uh, drink enough water or if we spend too much time in the sun, then we get really thirsty and then we don't feel well, okay? For example, uh, good morning, I have a dry mouth, so that means you feel thirsty, your mouth feels dry, a headache, and drowsiness, okay? Drowsiness is when you feel very tired, very sleepy, all right? I went for a long hike in the sun, but I wore a hat, okay? So uh, sometimes that's not enough. You need to make sure 
you drink a lot of water, okay? So he could say, it's dehydration. Did you drink during the walk? No, I didn't, okay? So uh, it's dehydration. The only remedy, so remedy is the way to feel better, a cure, is to replenish your liquids, okay? To replenish is to, uh, to put back. If you replenish something, if you're lacking liquids in your body, it means you have to replenish them. You have to drink water. Okay, drink plenty of water and avoid carbonated or sweetened drinks. So carbonated would be like a Coca-Cola or something like that, uh, or sweetened drinks that have sugar. So that's not good if you are dehydrated. Okay, diarrhea. This is another common one uh, that uh, it's uncomfortable to talk about even, but it's important to know the word when you have a stomach problem. If something doesn't uh, sit well, maybe something that you ate or the water that you drank, you might have to tell the doctor, I have diarrhea because they're going to want to give you uh, some treatment for that. Okay, so I have diarrhea. What can I do? Okay, so the doctor will say, how long have you had it? Uh, how long have you had it for? Okay, for example, since yesterday evening, okay? So they'll say, take these tablets, okay, tablets or pills, three times a day between meals, okay? So if that happens, it's important to go to the doctor because uh, diarrhea can also lead to dehydration, which we just talked about. So none of these are good situations. So if this happens, you definitely want to go to the doctor. Okay, uh, something else you can happen if you're walking around barefoot uh, with no shoes at the beach, you could get something like a fungal infection, okay? Um, or if you go to some place like public baths or something like that or a swimming pool, that could happen, okay? So if you say, I have a strong itch on the sole of my foot, okay? So the sole is like the bottom of your foot. So if it itches, all right, let me see. Uh, so the doctor might say it is a fungal infection, okay? Apply this cream, again, they'll recommend a cream on the affected area, so that means in the area where you have the, the problem, the itch, uh, in the morning and in the evening before you go to sleep. Avoid walking for 15 minutes after applying the cream, okay? So to apply means to put the cream on the area that uh, is the problem, the, the area that itches, okay? All right, so we've just gone through several uh, situations that you might have when you are traveling, uh, when you're on vacation. If this happens, it's important to know this vocabulary in order to uh, get the right treatment and to explain to the doctor what's happening, okay? So I want you to practice by writing in the comments. Tell me, have you ever had to uh, go to the hospital while traveling? Okay, were you able to communicate with the doctor or nurse? Okay, so what, uh, what was the problem? What happened? How did you communicate with the doctor or with the nurse? And did you get the treatment, uh, the medication or prescription that you, that you needed? Okay, so tell me your travel story uh, in the comments and I'll be looking forward to reading those in a bit. Okay, as you're doing that, let me tell you a bit more about our course here at ABBA. We have a complete course from beginners to business level. Uh, our course is available on both web and mobile version and tablet, so you can take it with you wherever you go on your vacation as well. Um, so each uh, unit of the course is made up of a, uh, it has several sections. It starts with a short film, then you have a video class with a teacher like myself explaining the grammar and you have uh, exercises to practice all of your skills. So reading, writing, listening, and speaking, all of that is covered in the course. So if you want to sign up, if you're not currently an ABBA student, you can go to abbaenglish.com and you can find more information there. And in addition to the course, we have plenty of other uh, resources for you to practice your English, like our blog. This is called our ABBA Journal, and there you can find more articles about English for travel, if that's what interests you, or English for business, more grammar explanations, vocabulary, um, really anything you could imagine. Uh, any topic that you might need to know about is featured on her blog, so check it out. And we're also available on all of the social media networks. So Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram, and we're constantly updating those with new content, so check them out if you haven't already. It's a great way for you to practice with us every day uh, by learning something with us here at ABBA English and improving your, your English. Okay, so uh, I'm going to give you more time 
to answer the questions. Um, if you want to tell me about a travel story or if you have another question, maybe another situation that might happen uh, while you're traveling that I haven't mentioned, feel free to write it in the comments and I'll get back to you a bit later. Okay, so let me tell you about next class. We're going to be talking about some of the differences between American and British English. Now there are many and I can't cover all of them, but we're going to cover some of the main ones. So uh, this is gonna be good for you as well if you're going to travel to one country or the other to keep them in mind, okay? So keep writing in the comments. Uh, I'm going to get to your comments a little bit later. So anything you want to know, please feel free to write it and, uh, and I'll answer you a, li a little bit later on, okay? So thanks again for joining this class. I hope it was useful. And uh, if you are traveling soon, have a great vacation and I hope that, your, uh, that this class was useful for you and I hope none of, things, none of these situations actually happen to you, but if, if they do, then you uh, will be prepared for them. Okay, so take care and I'll see you next week. Bye.